Hey y'all, so normally I don't do videos in the afternoon, but the reason why I'm doing this video is because someone posted a comment like an hour ago. They said that it's a lot going on within their targeting. It makes them sometimes want to unalive themselves. I want to talk to those of you that are going through it and you feel like, oh, I can't do this anymore because people are following me. Oh, I can't do this no more because people are harassed or people don't like me. I want to sit here and tell you that we all that are target are facing the battle. But it's those that are surviving, that are pushing through, that are winning and succeeding and putting them to a stop and to a shame. Put this in your head. Those people that follow you, those people that harass you, they work for you. You are their boss. Every time you got to get up to go outside and go to your car to take a walk, somebody has to get up and go to your car too, meaning they're puppets and you are the puppet controller. You are the masters behind their lives, okay? They're weak, okay? Anybody that will get up and follow someone around just because someone asked them to do it is a coward, is a fool, is a puppet, is a bot. Bot is meaning is a robot, meaning that they can't think for themselves or control their own action. So Phil, let you know you are greater than. I know some people say, don't ever think you're better than somebody. You are better than the people that will follow someone around or harass them for no reason because they have no lives. You have a life and they want you to take your own life because your life is greater than, greater than so please, anybody that's listened to this and they feel like I can't do this anymore, I understand where you're coming from. I can't never sit there and say that I never felt like that because the, the weights was too hard to bear. But let me tell you, if you endure what they are doing, you are winning. If you don't, you are giving them victory. And that means that they're succeeding at what they're doing. It's a game. Let them fail. Stop giving them victory. This is my thing. They motivate me to do better with myself. And the reason why I'm saying that, let me tell you something, y'all. I go walking in the afternoon because remember I told y'all I gained a lot of weight over the COVID and after having a baby. And it's hard for me to lose weight because they, when you're stressed, you the weight stays on you. So I go walking. When I go walking, do you know about four or five of them got to go walking too? And so I first used to get intimidated like, oh my God, they're all outside. I'm about to just go back in the house. Okay, now when I see him outside, I go walking and I walk even more because I sit there and I, it's a mental thing of time. You don't control me. If I want to walk, I can walk if I want to. And just for that, I'm walking an extra 10 minutes so you can stay out here extra 10 minutes. You should see how they get scattered and feel stupid. Because I will walk with my head held up. I will walk and then when I pass them, I look them straight in the eye. Like you're not about to intimidate me and you and I'm telling you, it's a sense of power when you get to that level looking them in the eyes They feel stupid You should see how they put their head down or some of them will turn their head like this like they can't see me And that made me feel good because that shows the power that I possess and I want you to try it When they make you go back in the side because it's ten of them outside that you know that are targeting you You do you bigger than bigger and make sure you secure yourself and make sure yourself is safe when doing so But I promise you they get intimidated by you. They already know the power you possess, but you don't. I'm telling you today, do not do that to yourself because somebody else don't like you. Don't do that to yourself because somebody following you. So what if they following you? So what? Look at these celebrities' life. These celebrities did with paparazzi and all this for them too with the fame and the fortune at the same time. You have so much fame on you, you don't even know that you are an influencer just by you. I done came out and seen people wearing the same clothes I had on and I walk up to them and say, that's cute because if I like it, I hope you love it. Thank you for trying to be me, but there only could be one me. You know what I'm trying to say? You, it's a mental thing. It's mind over matter. Don't let nobody scare you into it's all about fear. Once you get over that fear factor, I promise you things will get easier. Like I can sit there and be like, this person next to me pulled up there against that. So what? Because I want to sit here in my car and make a video. You got to sit here too. I don't care if it's hot. I don't care if it's raining. You got to do what I do because I control you. You don't control me. And it's like me, I start playing their games too. Like the lady said in the other video, she followed them. Sometimes I do follow the ones that want to sit in front of my house. Soon as they take take off, this is what they do to me. They sit there and then when I open my door, like I'm get out, they take off. I hop right back in my car, follow them to their house. And I roll by their house and wave. And I say, God bless you. 
They can't stand me. What she going to do? Call the police and say she keeps saying, God bless me. And that's a true story. This one lady did that to me. I was so intimidated of her, right? I will come out my complex and she will come out at the same time. And she will walk. I used to walk and walk my son to school. She will walk to the school at the same time too. When I'm done, she's standing there and wait for me. Then guess what I start doing? I start walking with her and saying, I'm about to leave now. Are you ready? And I'll stand there and wait for her. And she would just look at me like, because you know they're puppets. They're not allowed to talk to you. And I'm like, come on. Because we walk together every day, so I'm going to start waiting for you so we can walk together. I start doing that. I start talking to the principal and saying, oh, have you seen my neighbor? Because I'm waiting for her because we need to walk together. And they start looking at me like, this lady crazy. Yes, I'm crazy. Leave me alone, right? Then I start, and then when I start seeing her on the street, like if I'm driving, y'all, and she's walking, I will honk the horn and wave at her. Did you know she told the principal that I'm bothering her? And the principal said, she said you bothered her. I said, what did I do to her? You keep waving at her. I said, now don't you and her both sound stupid. So how is waving at somebody that's known as a good gesture of just saying hi to somebody became such inappropriate behavior? And he looked at me like, dang, I don't know what to say. I was like, so when you can look that up and say it's breaking the policy, me being nice to this lady and waving at her because, you know, we live by each other. I thought that was goodly neighbor support. They feel stupid. What can they tell you? So always remember to follow the laws, be a, a law by a citizen and just do you. It's your world. It's your world. They want to be in your world. But you have to say so who's in your world or not. Make them work for what they get. And if they get a $25 gift heart card because they following you, make them follow you for 20 minutes. Stop giving them five minutes because you see them. And they be like, yep, she went back inside because she see me coming out. And it's crazy because I be seeing them run out and walking off fast and running to their cars. I be like, ain't that about nothing? Y'all are some weirdos. Like, I can't believe people are actually participating in this. You get what I'm trying to say? So those of you that are feeling down or feeling weak, laugh it off. It's a game of chess. Checkmate. Figure out what will give you the success of winning this game. You are not a loser. You will never be a loser. Wake up in the, every morning and say, I am powerful. I am chosen. I will win this battle victory is mine you know talk to yourself for affirmations and make sure that you are on the winning team if you got to write yourself a contract and say today i will walk 10 minutes and who cares who's following me let them follow me they better not touch me period you better go bananas ape crazy if somebody tried to touch you that's my advice you have the right to protect yourself these people don't have the right to violate you to talk to you and if it's if it's getting too much let them know to stop it's been times i done told them like this man came up to me, y'all, and he said, I know who you are. You a criminal. I have never even been to a precinct, never been arrested. You get what I'm trying to say? So I'm sitting here like me, a criminal. How is that? So you know me, but I don't know you. That goes to show me you're a stalker and you're a pervert. Let me call the police on you. And he felt stupid. This is a true story. I called the police on this man and I told the police, this man is claiming to know me. He knows who I am. And he said, you guys are the police officers once in this community is telling him that the police officer showed up and said, that man crazy. He a lie. Okay, in his face, say he's a lie, right? Okay, so then a couple of days went by. I'm looking for his wife because I'm looking like, tell your men, you know, I went off on her, right? Me and her about to get into it, right? Long story short, bringing up for it to current day, I saw this man again. I said, you will never in your life be able to, um, what's the word? I slander my name in these streets. I work too hard to be a good citizen. You know what he did? He said, I apologize. I said, you need to apologize because you're wrong. Because if I was a criminal, why am I allowed to walk around? You see me in a nurse outfit with my badge on because I used to only come on my lunch break to pick up my kids. I said, have you ever known somebody in the hospital to work with a criminal background? You answer that. Use your common sense and stop letting people go make you an innocent man go against. I said, I know where the man work. He work at Cal Baptist. I said, and you working at a Bath this school and, and you're casting stones you supposed to be a man of God long story short this man apologized like 10 times when he see me you can tell he be looking like dang my bad it's common sense sometimes you got to let them know that they're stupid for believing what somebody tell them to do it's just dumb when you ever have a chance to talk to one of them just politely talk to them and get your story out because a lot of them are being fooled of thinking you're someone that you're not period so you be the great greatest that you are so that they know that you are not what these people are saying. Like I told you, keep shining. Somebody can sit there and say you are 
a bank robber. Stop carrying yourself like you are one because when you go into hiding, it looks like it's true. It looks like you're a felony on a run from somebody because you always in the house. You always quick to keep your head down. You always running in as soon as you pull up in your car because you want nobody to see you. That's bank robber activities. So don't let nobody believe what they are saying about you. Do you put a smile on your house, live your life, be happy and shine. Hold your head up. I went to my son's school where they heavily targeted me, right? I walked in there like I owned the room. Head up. I looked around. Hey, how y'all doing? Hi. And, they, and you should have seen how they turned around like, you're mad, huh? I have my little sunglasses on thinking I was cute you get what I'm trying to say because sometimes it does help to put the sunglass on because you can look directly at them and they don't even know you look at them up and down and you talk it to yourself like mm, right but that's all I want to talk to you I hope that encourages you to keep going a lot of it is just witchcraft y'all that they put in on you to make you think that way defeated by praying over yourself every day breaking the spell breaking all the chain that anybody has against you talk to you guys soon please remain doing you and if it's too much take a break and pull over if you're not in a rush to get somewhere and somebody they following you or you know you got to go in the store pull over talk to yourself for about 10 minutes to pump yourself up and make sure you keep your head up and walk with confidence because when they know that you have fear that's when they're gonna get you i promise you it's all about fear